when we are creating content, when we're writing an article or even a book, or we're making a video or we're making a podcast, there are two basic paths. Uh, one path, I should say two mindsets. One path or mindset is uh, spend a lot of time and effort doing something, make it perfect, and then put it out there. And then, gosh, we spend all this time and effort. Uh, we're expecting that people are going to love it because otherwise we wouldn't, we wouldn't have spent all that time and effort. We are have an expect. The more we invest in something, the more expectation we tend to have on what the results are going to be. Okay, so that's one path, and some people can do that path skillfully and successfully, and uh, that's great. They should keep doing it. I am more of the second path, and the second path I call iterate quickly and upward. Publish often. Okay, so what I mean by this is instead of, for example, spending um, an entire month scripting the perfect video, um, you know, recording it 25 times and then editing it um, perfectly and then putting it out there and gosh, I hope this goes viral on YouTube and Facebook or whatnot. What I do is instead of doing, making one perfect video a month, I make 20 videos, short videos a month. As you probably know if you've been watching these, I make a video Monday through Friday. I do it on my dog walk. <laughs> There's my dog buddy there. I do it on my dog walk so it's really easy for me. I'm out here anyway. I've got my, I've got my phone which has a nice video camera built into it. I've got some ideas that uh, either I think are amazing or that are obvious to me and I think are helpful for others. So I just say, say a few things and then I put it out there and here's the amazing thing I found. Some ideas I think are amazing. They were big aha moments for me. They uh, really helped me make a big change in my life. I make it on these videos. I put it out there and only a few people like it. Yeah, people generally don't find it, don't find it that amazing. Okay. And then there are other videos where I think are kind of obvious, ideas that are obvious to me. I think it might be helpful. I don't know. I put it out there and it gets dozens of likes, far more than the other videos that I thought were going to be amazing. Okay. So here's the key. You have a different context of life than many of your audience members. And so just because something is an aha moment for you, something is amazing knowledge for you, it came to you and it, it, within the context of your life it was amazing, it might not be amazing to most of the people that uh, you reach it, because they don't have the same context, exact same context of life. They might have a similar context, not the, exactly the same. So I really encourage you if you, okay, let me, one more thing I'll say is the, the path of iterating quickly and upward helps us to manage our disappointment or rather to say manage our expectations because I make these things so easily. So what I do is I'm out here on the walk. I'm out here anyway. I make a quick video. And then later on in the day, I'll take 15 minutes to quickly write, write out what I said and then I'll post it the next day and I'll see what happens. If lots of people like it, what I'll then do is I'll make a note to post that video again a month later or even just the text portion of the video a month later. And when I do that a month later, I'll edit, I'll edit my text portion so that it's even more thoughtful, even more clear, and eventually it can become a blog post. So I iterate upward and quickly. I just keep, I just keep churning out, publishing content, see if people initially like it that they do. I'll edit it, I'll spend more energy and effort once I've seen initially people like it. Does that make sense? So that way I manage my expectations. I don't get disappointed often because I know that, ah, no big deal. If only nobody likes this video, no big deal. It's, I I'd spent, what, maybe 15, 20 minutes with the whole, well, I suppose, say maybe 20 or 30 minutes total with the whole process. But I enjoyed it because when I'm making video, I know that I'm learning a lot too by just writing out, by saying the ideas and then clarifying it through writing. I'm learning a lot myself. So I encourage you to try iterating quickly and upward and see how that uh, helps you with your content creation. So until the next video, I wish you well.